Good afternoon, you guys. How are y'all doing today? Um, I'm going to start with the masculine reading. So as usual, take what resonates, leave what does not resonate. We all have feminine and masculine energy. Um, you know, if I say he or she, just take it as it applies. Don't force things to fit that you're not 100% sure of because it's going to stress you out. This is a collective reading. Um, energy is fluid. So, you know, it could have already happened. It is happening or it is going to happen. And if it's not you, then it's someone in your immediate vicinity that's going through this. Um, yeah, so I do this for the highest good and the highest healing of those who need to hear the messages the most. If they are repetitive, I don't have any control over it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, so here there is... Taurus energy that's coming out here for this masculine now this masculine energy seems to be very manipulative okay like this person is very um like they're really good at getting people to do things that they want them to do without them even being aware of it okay that's the type of manipulation this is you know like they'll do anything to keep their their story or whatever it is that they feel like they want to happen they'll do anything to keep that okay so whoever they have to manipulate to keep that scenario going is what they're going to do so you know whatever it is that happened recently or you know you might be going through it now it's like they try to make you feel bad about having these concerns or even asking a question about what's going on or trying to gain clarity they still try to manipulate the situation instead of being honest and giving you the clarity you're looking for. Now, this person may have, um, they probably grew up never being listened to or just being ignored, you know, um, you know, parents kind of like shut down little kids and they're just like, you know, get out of here, be quiet, I don't want to hear it. This person may have experienced this growing up, which probably led to them having this manipulative behavior. You know, and as usual, these are things that need to be healed, okay? It's not okay to manipulate people. It's not okay to make people feel bad or feel like they're doing something wrong because they want clarity or understanding as to what's going on. Okay, now for some of you, this manipulation has to do with either somebody like a renewal some like you're getting back together with somebody or maybe you're getting like um remarried or something like that you know whatever it is it's like it has a lot to do with something from before or something starting over again okay but whatever it is um i have the strength card and they're saying that it's important for you to you know be strong and understand that you're stronger than you believe you are. Whatever it is that you've been through, you've survived it, okay? So don't feel like you are you can't deal with this. It's just you have to trust in your ability to overcome whatever it is that has happened. <clears throat> now, there's going to be something that's going to be a very... It's either dramatic change or there's going to be some drastic shift in perception and um, tower... So it could be, you know, it could be an internal tower, it could be external tower, but it's basically the endings of cycles. There's some type of transformation that's going to be coming about. And for some of you, it may be in regards to work or some type of finances. So it could be good or it could be bad. Hi, Eknel, how are you? Um, you know, so you take it how it resonates depending on what you're going through right now. But whatever it is, if your focus is only money and you're driven by money, you have to ask yourself at what point truly is enough enough, you know, because your motivator is money. You're not doing something that you're passionate about. You're not doing something because this is, oh, I have this desire to help people or I love painting. I love dancing. You know, you're not doing something because you love it. You're doing it because of the amount of money you can make from it. So when you do things like this, it doesn't typically pan out well, you know because you're, you're always going to want to chase it um but yeah like i said there might be something happening in regards to that so maybe a job loss or something coming up um and again i, I think someone might be losing their job or they might be losing a great deal of money um something's coming about with that but whatever it is um you know that needs to be released that money hungry type of energy you have to purge that 
okay and for others of you there is something here that has to do with family that needs to be released as well because it's like you're on an emotional roller coaster you're going up and down and you know your feelings are probably all over the place but you know when I say family it doesn't have to be like blood or immediate family it's just people that you consider to be close to you or that you have close bonds with there's people that need to be released from your life okay because they might not be serving your highest good and it's important for you to refocus okay so whatever it is you've been focusing on especially if it's just been money you need to shift that focus okay <clears throat> Because for some of you, it's there's something or someone you abandoned. And it seems like there's some... Okay. So there's something here that needs to be released, you know. Um, and for some of you, it is a family dynamic. And there's some type of refocus that needs to happen because there's a situation or somebody from your past that you abandoned. And it seems like you're still thinking about them or you still have thoughts of them. Um, but whatever it is, it's like, you know how sometimes you look at yourself in the mirror, you know, and you'll look at your flaws or you look at, you know, you just look at yourself. And if you stare at yourself long enough, you start to look at things differently or it's not as they truly are. Okay. So sometimes it's this person might have some insecurities with the way that they look you know they might seem overconfident because they're insecure about their physical features because they don't like their appearance or the way that they look and people like this they generally have a very uh confident persona and that's not really how they feel inside so you see them as being oh they're very confident they're this but really internally they're very insecure about their appearance um, yeah, so whatever it was, this individual, you know, whoever you abandoned, it's like you, you have to refocus, okay? Um, so the person you, you're, either you or the person you're dealing with is very honest, okay? So maybe that's, uh, that's just something that they are because here I'm getting that somebody is not where they say they're going to be so if you're dealing with somebody and maybe they portray themselves as being honest or acting like they're honest and they say hey I'm going over here they're not that's not really where they're going you know so if they say hey I'm gonna go golfing and then they're probably at a fucking strip club or <laughs> you know whatever the scenario is is just they're not where they say they're gonna be Okay, and they probably present themselves as they're being truthful to you and they're not. Um, there's some type of delays that are going to be going on here. And maybe that's part of where they say that they're going to be. And then they're making up reasons why things aren't um, going the way they're supposed to or why it's taking longer to get there. Whatever it is. But again, like I said, this is the masculine energy. This is the masculine reading. But I have the Nine of Cups energy here. So whatever it is, it's some type of um, wish fulfillment. There's something that's happening that's going to be coming true. But... Whatever it is, there's some type of delay attached to your wish fulfillment here, okay? Because it has to do, they're showing me, it has to do with your tribe, like your family, your friends, things like this. And again, some of you are humanitarians, so it's important for you to shift gears and whatever it is, especially if you are the one that's always chasing money, you're meant to do this. Um, so yeah, you know, whatever it is, it's like... Maybe you and the other individual have common goals or you there's something there between these people. But whatever it is, this like I said, this energy is very manipulative and you know they just kind of lure people into whatever it is by manipulating the situation, by telling their story, omitting things, you know, it's things like that. They call like they present themselves in a way that's not authentic, that's not genuine. All right, so be careful with your behaviors when you do things like this because things like this will come back to bite you on the ass. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, but at some point because you're not living authentically. So you always have to worry about your lies coming back to bite you on the ass. Um, but yeah, somebody feels bad. 
about the way they acted or behaved towards somebody and is probably the person that they abandoned from the past. Um, but whatever that is, like I said, you know, you have to be authentic because it looks like this person may be sending, like they want to apologize but it, or they want forgiveness, but it's like you're getting these messages through your dreams or through the songs. They haven't spoken to you directly to apologize for their behavior, but they're, it's like they're sending you messages on the 5D. Um, for some of you, this is your twin flame that you're having this situation with. Hi, Jen, how are you? Um, so it is your twin flame that, you know, you might be going through this with. And these are things, again, things that come up for healing, okay? But there's inner child healing that needs to take place because whatever it was, this was lessons, cycles, and, you know, that's all that this was. So whatever recently transpired, especially if it's all the manipulation and all of that behavior those are the things that need to be healed and that's probably the cycle that's ending because maybe they realize that it's not the right thing to do or the damage that they cause somebody else by them being inauthentic and lying and manipulating situations but there's some type of longing here like some type of desire some type of want Okay, and again, I keep getting this abandoned uh, energy here, so maybe this person feels like they were abandoned, but whatever it was, it's like, it's either they feel abandoned or the person that they abandoned, you know, this is how that person is feeling because it keeps coming out, so somebody feels like they were just abandoned, and like I said, if this person was manipulative and made you believe something that wasn't true, and that could be the reason why you feel abandoned. Um, for some of you, this person is black or Asian, or maybe both. Maybe they're mixed, um, black and Asian. But, like, you know, take it how it resonates because it's not going to be for everybody. <clears throat> and again, I just get a lot of manipulation with this person. Um, you know, and if some of. If somebody recently proposed to you or they made an offer of. Um, you know, if you guys were like in a situation ship or it wasn't serious and they decided they wanted to take it to the next step, they only did that because they were afraid of losing you. Okay, so it's like that was the driving force, not I love you and I want to spend my life with you. It's just right now, whatever situation you guys are in is benefiting them and they don't want to lose that. Um, and I have again the tower. You. <laughs> I'm going to go through all of them in a second because I need to see how many of these came out. Um, but again, the tower card, whatever it is, this stuck, stagnant energy is like when we get the towers, it's meant to push us out of where we're at. Okay, because if we're refusing to change or we're refusing to shift, then spirit's going to force our hand. And we're not going to like the way that one feels because it's usually something that's very big and it fucks your whole shit up. So it's important for you to allow the towers to happen. You know, don't fight the tower moments because when you fight them, that's when shit gets worse as opposed to just allowing situations to be what they are. So basically, if you're this manipulative energy and you're manipulating people in situations constantly and you're still trying to manipulate the situation, that means the outcome of this is going to be a lot worse as opposed to owning your shit and being honest. Um... Yeah, so whatever it is, you know, it's maybe you guys are going to be working with other people or things are just going to get really intense whenever this tower hits. Okay, but whatever it is, you're going to have the power, like you're going to be empowered from this. Okay, maybe it'll help you to see. And I got Taurus energy again. So whoever this is, they're heavy. This is heavy Taurus energy. Um, you know, so... <sighs> But this Taurus energy here has a lot of, um, like they're very guarded, okay? They keep very part, they keep parts of them very much hidden away and they don't allow people in, you know, they don't express their emotions. They don't say what they need to say, you know, and especially if it's something that they've been keeping repressed for a long time, these are things that are going to eat away at you because you're not being authentic. You're not being honest. You're not speaking your truth, Okay. But whatever it is, you know, you have the power to create your life. You have the power to create a new beginning and tell a different story. If you keep on reliving the same story, if you keep on telling the same story, then you're going to keep living that. You have the power to change this. So again, 
they just keep on basically repeating because whatever it is there's some type of mass some type of facade that this person has or maybe some type of belief in regards to money because money is big for this person whoever this is they're really heavy on money like that's their focus and you know whatever it was it's like it has something to do with the past maybe before they didn't have a lot of money growing up and now they do so it's like okay but Maybe they were lying about having to pay for something or maybe having some type of money that they didn't have. There's some type of lie attached to finances, okay? And it could be something from before. Maybe something happened before or something that they did before is attached to finances that was not true, okay? And whatever it was, like this person seemed to have like very big dreams or things that they wanted to do. But they're showing me now that this person is like almost in solitude, like they're alone and it's like they're t distancing themselves. They're taking a time out. They're going within. They're just dealing with their own shit right now. Or they're dealing with somebody that is at a distance, okay? Um, however that resonates for you guys. But <laughs> this person here has real serious control issues, um, like really bad. Because all they keep getting is manipulation, manipulation, control fucking lies like this person is very okay <laughs> so i'm certain you guys have had relationships with people that were probably a little bit toxic you know and i say that in the sense of you know you're dating somebody they're jealous they're controlling they're telling you, you can't do this you can't wear that you can't talk to this person you can't go here you can't go there that type of energy when you encounter people that try to control another person like try to control how situations and things like that go you have to understand that yes it's coming from a place a wounded place and that's something that that person has to heal but also it, it's toxic because we are individuals and we are free to make our own choices we do not need permission from someone else to tell us what we can and can't do with our lives so if you're a person that's controlling, you need to see why do you feel the need to control other people? Why do you feel it's okay to try to dictate someone else's behavior? The only person you can control is you. That's it. Not anyone else. So you need to be careful with this type of behavior, okay? And really sit with yourself and see. Because this is something that, you know... I just, I don't like this because this situation's like this, it'll start like this and then it turns into an abusive situation. So be careful, okay? And if you are the masculine, if you are this Taurus energy that is this way that needs to control everything and have control over people and your situation and circumstances, you really need to work on why and figuring out where these insecurities are coming from that cause you to need to control everything that's going on around you. And again, Taurus... That's it. Oh, I got Capricorn now. <laughs> but every, it's just Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Um, so, you know, whatever it is, understand if you've been working hard, you're wor you, what you've been working towards is paying off and it is going to come into fruition for you. Um, some of you might be bakers or, you know, maybe you just have a sweet tooth or whatever it is. Or maybe you guys just going to have some sweet shit today. But um, I don't know if you guys drink tea or not, but drink some tea because some of you might need it to help cleanse and detox your, um, your system. And again, I get cleansing. So maybe your house, if you have a lot of shit in your house that's like clutter, get rid of it. If you have shit that you don't use, haven't worn, you know, just get rid of it. Like start cleaning everything out, even your cars. And this goes for mental, emotional, spiritual, all of these things because we maintain our outside, but a lot of us don't do the work on the interior. We don't do the work for our mental health. We don't do the work for our emotional well-being. You have to maintenance that the same way you maintenance a vehicle. You have to take care of you. You have to read the books. Get the education. Like figure out what it is that's going on with you so that you can be the better person. So that you can be what it is that you need to be. Because they're saying right now, you guys need to take a time out. Like you guys need. Hi Julian, how are you? <clears throat> you guys need to really just kind of pause and allow things to just work themselves out because some of you might be rushing into something and it might not be the best thing for you. So you might wanna let things breathe a little bit before you move forward with whatever decision it is you're going towards, okay? Because that's gonna allow for transformation and there's a deeper healing that's gonna take place during this time. So again, if you have decisions or you're, you notice you're rushing into something, try to just step back a little bit and let the shit breathe before you 
move forward especially if you're like i'm proposing or i'm getting married or i'm moving in with someone like those are big fucking moves you know and they can be life altering especially if it's something that you're just doing on a whim or because your emotions are all over the fucking place that's not the best way to make decisions when you're emotional because that's typically we end up regretting those decisions <clears throat> you know, because you make a, you, you know, think about when you're angry and you made a decision like, oh, I'm not talking to you or I'm going to fucking punch you in the face or whatever and see what the outcome was. It was probably a bad outcome. So whatever it is, you know, there is wisdom that's coming from all of these experience, whatever it is that you've had going on. Okay, this is time <clears throat> to kind of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yes, whatever it is that you're contemplating, that you're trying to go towards, you know, make sure that you are doing what you truly feel in your soul is best for you. Like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like your whole, every, your whole entire being has to be on board 100% because if you're not, you're going to regret your decision, okay? And I say this from personal experience and just life overall. If your mind is over here and your heart's over here and you're like, well, this makes logical sense and I'm going to move towards that. Yeah, it might make logical sense, but in the long run, you're going to regret that decision because emotionally you're not going to be fulfilled. Okay, so some of you might need to find a mentor or someone that um, maybe has a little bit more experience with life and, you know, has overcome a lot of things and talk to them and see because you don't want to deal with someone that's toxic or talk to somebody that's going to tell you that holds grudges or is angry because they're going to give you bad advice from their personal experience you want to speak to someone that has wisdom and overcomes things and understands the way life is and why it happens the way it happens okay so whatever it is you know you have the choice of whatever way you want your life to go but this there's just, there's so much manipulation in this situation, I can't even, like, I truly, truly cannot even. And then I get tower moment after tower moment here. So whatever it is that you're going through, just understand, you have to be honest, you have to find the truth within yourself, okay? And if you owe someone an apology, then apologize, okay? Yeah, 3D messages are great, but you, or 5D messages are great, but what you did was on the 3D, so make amends say what you need to say um yeah because like i said there's a lot of tourists a lot of freaking tower moments and just a lot of fucked upness in this situation um so yeah but you understand you can only control you so you need to sit with yourself and make better choices um this is the masculine reading i'm gonna go ahead and move into the feminine reading so if you guys want to join me on there i'll be on in a few seconds I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have an awesome day.